Invoice OCR. That stands for Optical Character Recognition. It's a technology you may have heard of. It's where you take an image, an uh, invoice, a PDF, something, and then you extract the text from it. So it's a way to actually decode what is printed on the PDF. We're going to use it in an invoice today, and we're going to extract the accurate data from an unstructured invoice. So a lot of structured data on invoices and PDFs, uh, it might be easier for the data to be extracted, but we're going to use one that's just kind of a, a rough and dirty looking one. I'm going to show you the one that we're using right now. All right, so here's the invoice we're going to be playing around with. It's got some data up here from and to invoice number, date, description of different line items with quantities, unit prices, and total. So this is standard issue invoice stuff that you're used to seeing, right? All right, we're going to use Lido. I'm going to sign in to Lido. And we're going to show you how this makes the process just a little bit easier and more streamlined. So I'm going to go new file over here. And right up here, we've got a nice big button that says extract data. We want this. So let's extract data. We're actually going to upload a PDF. Should have an example invoice right there on my desktop. We're going to upload this. And then it's going to think here for a second. Now, as you can see, check it out. We've pre-filled some data points to extract based on your uploaded file, but we can add or remove this based on what we want. So let's see, we've got description, quantity, unit price, total. And you know what? Let's go back to the invoice. I kind of want a date, don't you? So let's put date and we can add that. And then I don't care about unit price. I only want total price. I do, however, want down here, you can select this for extract multiple rows per document. And as you can see, I have multiple rows on this document for different line items. So we want to leave that checked. We can also add additional instructions. So it has pre-baked some additional instructions down here. I am actually going to remove that because I don't think we need that for this example. Well, it's pretty straightforward. The AI is quite intelligent and will be able to pretty accurately uh, as you can see, figure out what columns to extract data into. And then it does a good job once I say process all files to actually do that. So we got our process countdown up here and then it's going to say success. And we're gonna close this down and check this out. We've got the data over here. So we've got description, quantity, total, and then the date. I actually guess I didn't really need the date on that because it's the same one for every of every one of these lines, but you know, we got it anyway. So the next thing you might want to do from here is download this into Excel. And as you can see, this is a popular feature because they've actually added a button exactly for this export to Excel. So we can click that and then it will download an XLSX file, which we can see right here. And there it is. Lido is a pretty useful tool. I've been using them for over a year or so now, and I've been quite impressed with them. They make a lot of things like automations a whole lot easier and more straightforward using this spreadsheet interface on their web app. And they've just baked in a lot of the common things that people have asked me for over the years, like how to connect calendars, how to set up uh, recurring automations, how to do extracting data from PDFs and invoices and stuff like that. So if you're interested in checking them out, I would encourage you to follow the link in the description below and see if they're right for you. Hope you have a great one. Check this video out next. You're awesome.